the reality is, for one reason or another, they don't master the work. I mean, I'm I'm an example of that. I, of all people, started doing law when I was straight. I was doing arts law. I loved first year. I did very well in first year because we did things like jurisprudence, you know, which is philosophy, basically. I got to second year, did contract law. That's real law. Professor, I was so bad at it, like you would not believe. I did so much work, but it was literally like does not compute. I used to sit there and quietly weep while I was writing my study notes. And so, of course, I very much failed that course. And I deserved to because it was simply something that I wasn't good at. And if I hadn't failed, if they'd, you know, sort of seen me struggling and pushed me through, then my life would have gone in a totally different direction. It was that process of failure that made me realise, hang on, I'm meant to do something else. Is that what can be important about failure? I think you've put your finger on the most important part about it. Um, students can have a degree, as you said, mm. um, but they're set up to fail if they haven't mastered the actual work. I mean, because remember, the university passing grade is 50%. Mm. But once you get out of university and into the real world, you have to face much higher standards. I mean, businesses would collapse overnight if their accountants were only 50% accurate. And computer programs that only work half the time are pretty useless. And believe me, you wouldn't be happy if you went to a surgeon who fluffed half his, his or her operations. Mm. So lowering standards and passing everyone is almost a guarantee that you will fail later in the workplace. Which isn't good for anyone's self-esteem, let alone their financial um, situation. 